Revelation 2916. From the 9th of October 1943. Fulfilling the Divine Commandments. Temptations of the World. It is much easier to submit to the world's desire than to fulfill the divine commandments, for what the world demands of people is also the desire of the human being himself, that is it appeals to the human body and is now also striven for by it. But the divine commandments demand renunciation of what the body desires in favor of the neighbor who is now in need, so the body's desire has to be put aside it has to renounce for the soul's sake, then the human being lives his life on earth according to divine will, which brings him spiritual success. Fulfillment of the divine commandments is therefore an overcoming of oneself, an overcoming of all bodily desires and a constant sacrifice of that which is dear and valuable to oneself. It is not easy, that is, it requires a constant imparting of strength because the human being has to resist temptations in order to test his free will, because the body's desire threatens to make him fickle again and again and he constantly needs strength to resist it. But without inner struggle no spiritual progress can be achieved, and without temptation there is no merit in remaining steadfast. And thus time and again the world will want to push itself forward the divine commandments will always demand a willingness to make sacrifices, while the world seeks to make the enjoyment of earthly pleasures people's purpose in life, and it requires a strong will, a profound faith and a conscious striving towards God in order to surrender the world and to find complete satisfaction in the fulfillment of the divine commandments. The strength from God must enable the human being to do the latter, it must permeate him and let him feel God's love, then his activity of love will also increase, it will make the human being happy himself, he will no longer feel it as a sacrifice but unselfish neighborly love will make him happy and he will no longer miss the world but willingly give it up for what he exchanges for it. For the love of God which now flows towards him in the form of strength and which surpasses all earthly pleasures many times over in value then the body, too, will no longer desire the world but it will participate in the soul's work and find satisfaction in it, for a loving soul has conquered its body, it is dominated by the spirit within itself, and the body, too, submits to its desire, it spiritualizes itself like the soul, as soon as God's love can become effective in it through unselfish neighborly love. Amen.